Well, moving on now, and Singapore has opened its first land-based solar farm that can also harvest and treat rainwater. The dual-function project is expected to generate enough energy to power 4,700 homes a year and treat enough rainwater to fill 68 Olympic-sized pools. Melissa Go with more. This solar farm makes the best of rainy, overcast days, when the lack of sunlight usually means downtime for solar panels. In the rain, a first-of-its-kind integrated rainwater harvesting system kicks in to collect and treat up to 170,000 cubic metres of water a year. Rain or shine, we actually have um, either energy harvested or rain harvested. Um, Rainwater is uh, precious to us. It can be used for many uses. It can be used for washing, cleaning. It can also be used for cooling. And also it can be used to on-sell to, to um, the surrounding neighbours. Rainwater collects via a drainage network between the solar panels and links to an underground storage tank. The water is harvested and treated primarily to cool and clean these very same panels in a pilot trial. On a hot and sunny day like today, these solar panels can get too hot to touch at about 80 degrees Celsius at noon. So this is where the treated rainwater comes in. It cools down the panels to about 40 degrees Celsius, boosting efficiency by up to 5%. Sam Corp says the farm is also mobile. It currently occupies some 10 hectares of temporary vacant land in Tuas, but can be packed up and set up at another site within six months. The project adds to Singapore's goal of producing at least 2 gigawatt peak of solar energy by 2030. And as part of government agency JTC's efforts to maximise 70 hectares of temporary vacant land. Apart from rainwater harvesting, JTC is also exploring ways to optimise the spaces under the solar panels, for example, for farming use. Now, JTC is also looking to solarise more spaces, including the top of link ways. Samcorp is also exploring harvesting food at its solar farms to help meet Singapore's food and energy needs using the same space. For more, we're joined now by Jen Tan. She's head of integrated solutions in Singapore and Southeast Asia at Semcorp Industries. Good evening, Ms. Tan. Uh, thank you for joining us. We, we have limited available land here in Singapore. We've got high cloud cover, lots of rainy days as well. What are some of the challenges with expanding our use of solar energy? I think in Singapore, land is very scarce. Um, we don't have much space like our regional neighbours. So we actually make use of uh, water bodies like the Tengah Reservoir that we have. Um, available land. Um, for this case, this land is available, but it's a temporary vacant land. It could be used for buildings at a later stage. So we have made our system modular and flexible that can be shifted within a short frame of time to the next available land. So we also have a lot of um, solar on the rooftops um, and we optimise the use of uh, most of the rooftops in Singapore. And it has a dual function as well, this solar farm. It's integrated uh, with the ability to harvest rainwater. Uh, what are some of the benefits of being able to do that? As mentioned, given the very scarce resource um, land availability that we have, um, we hope to put dual use um, to the land that we have. So when we were designing this solar farm, we were thinking if there is no sunshine, it means either it's dark or there is rain. So why don't we also make use of the rain that is coming down that we can reuse um, the rain water uh, that is harvested. So in this case, we are actually um, having a dual use, not only for solar panels during the sunshine, we also can harvest the rainwater um, during rainy seasons. The rain can be used for washing and then recycle again, reuse for uh, cooling of the solar panels. So even though there are these limitations to just how much solar energy we can actually use by way of uh, harvesting it from solar panels, uh, Ms Tan. It can still have an impact, though, in our push towards uh, re renewable energy use. Definitely. I think um, 
even for SAMCOP, we have already 400 megawatt uh, peak of solar systems and Singapore's target is towards 3 gigawatt. And I, I believe we are on track uh, to, to, towards that, that goal. Um, and the, the dual use of land actually helps us to even harness um, you know, the scarce uh, availability of water. So we know SEMCORP is today one of Singapore's largest homegrown renewable energy players. Uh, uh, Ms. Tan, you do energy storage solutions as well. What other forms of sustain energy, uh, sustainable energy uh, can you actually uh, share a little bit about that, that SEMCORP is exploring at this stage? Um, in SEMCORP, we do have quite a bit of uh, wind, uh, renewable energy in wind in China and India. Um, we are looking into, so, I mean, solar energy is a big part of our portfolio, and we are also going towards energy storage. Ms. Tan, thank you very much for joining us and sharing more about the solar farm. Uh, that was Jen Tan there from SEMCORP Industries. Thank you very much.